Hello, my name is Dr. Ganesh Jevlikar. I am working as a pediatric endocrinologist at Max Super Specialty Hospital, Saket and Gurugram. In this video, we are going to discuss childhood diabetes. Now, many of you may be unaware that children can get diabetes too, but it's a fact that not only can children get diabetes, but it's one of the most common long-term uh, metabolic problems that can happen in childhood. There are two major types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Unlike in adults, majority of the children have what is called as type 1 diabetes mellitus or what used to be previously called as insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. Now this is an autoimmune condition which means that the immune system of our body instead of protecting our uh, cells kind of attacks our own beta cells of pancreas and uh, destroys them leading to deficiency of insulin. So in type 1 diabetes we have insulin deficiency and that is the reason that children with diabetes or even adults with type 1 diabetes have to be on insulin. In the past few years because of increasing incidence of obesity and sedentary lifestyle amongst children we also are seeing increasing number of cases of type 2 diabetes in children. In addition to type 1 and type 2 there are some other rare types of uh, diabetes which are genetic and which can happen in the first few months of life or even later on in the life. The reason why type 1 diabetes should be diagnosed on time is very important to know. Because insulin is a is hormone which is essential for survival. As I discussed previously that people with diabetes uh, of type 1 have to be managed with insulin treatment. They cannot be managed by oral medications or any of the alternative medications like homeopathic, ayurvedic etc. Insulin is a must. There is no alternative and this is very important to understand that there is no alternative to insulin treatment as of now. It's a field of ongoing research down the line after 5 or 10 years maybe there might be other treatments but as of today subcutaneous or under the skin insulin treatment remains the only way of treating type 1 diabetes. Most commonly insulin is taken either with the help of a insulin syringe or with the help of an insulin pen. In the last decade or couple of decades there is, has been increasing availability and usage of insulin pump. We will discuss briefly about each of these devices. Insulin syringes have been in use for a long time. You take in, draw the insulin from the vial and inject it under the skin. The injection technique remains more or less similar to any other injection. It is injected either on, abdom on the abdomen or on the thighs or on buttocks or the back of the arms. It's important to know where to inject insulin for its correct administration. This is an insulin pen. So insulin pen is basically a device to deliver insulin. There are two kinds of pen. One is a disposable pen where the insulin is pre-filled or it is available and it is a use and throw. So after you finish the insulin supply, you just have to throw the entire pen. And this is a permanent pen, which means you just have to refill the cartridge. You can see the number of units marked on, uh, on the cart along the cartridge. This is a dose dialer the end, at the end of the insulin pen. With the help of this, you can dial the dose of insulin. And this in this window, you can see the number of units of insulin. And the white line shows how many units of insulin have you dialed. This is a needle with its outer covering. It can be removed and uh, inserted in this fashion. Remove the insulin cartridge and uh, refill it with a new one. This is the cartridge in which there is a supply of insulin. I'm just going to put it back in the pen. This is the needle with its cover and I'm going to put the needle on the cartridge. So this is the pen now ready for administration. You can see this window here with numbers which can indicate the dose of insulin that you are going to administer. This dose can be adjusted with the help of what is called as a dialer. So here at the end of the pen, there is this. It can make audible clicks. So in case vision is poor, one can have an idea of the insulin dose with the help of the uh, sound of the click. Priming of the insulin pen, that is just to make sure that the needle is patent and there is no uh, air bubble or any other kind of blockage in the needle. So I'm going to dial two units here. So one, one and two. Now the white arrow here is pointing 
to the number 2 which means I have dialed 2 units. I am going to hold the pen with the needle showing upwards and I am just going to press it with my press the dialer or press the end with my thumb. You can see normally I should see a flow of insulin coming out but here there is no flow which means that there is some problem with the needle. So I have dialed two units here so you can see this white arrow showing with the number two which means that I have taken the dose as two units. I'm going to hold the pen like this with the point with the needle pointing upwards and I'm going to push the uh, dialer or piston and if the needle is patent I should see a free flow of insulin coming out of the needle. So you can see the jet of insulin which has come out so which means that the needle is working fine. Now I can dial the desired dose. Let us say in this case we are going to administer 6 units of insulin. So I have to dial this dialer 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is now 6 units of insulin. And let us imagine that this is the thigh or uh, abdomen where I am going to inject the insulin. I am going to hold the pen in a thumbs up position like this. I am keeping my thumb lightly over the pen so that the insulin is not administered before the needle is gone in the skin. Now what you have to do is you have to take a bold prick which means that if you are hesitating it will be more painful and it, the dose may not go correctly. So you have to just hold the skin with your thumb and the rest of the fingers and take a bold prick inside the skin. So now the needle is under the skin. I am going to press this pen with the help of the thumb to administer these 6 units. Make sure that you have administered all the 6 units by making sure that the uh, pointer or the arrow is at 0 units. Here hold and count slowly for 5 or 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then relax your uh, fingers to release the skin and then take out the insulin pen. This is how you administer the insulin injection with the help of an insulin pen. After the usage, you can remove the needle and keep it safely. It, it is ideally we should use fresh needle every time but because of economic constraints sometimes uh, the needle because the same person is going to use the needle can be used two or three times but more than that it becomes very blunt so it should not be used more than two or three pricks. This device is an insulin pump which is basically a motorized uh, instrument or device to administer insulin continuously under the skin. The insulin is kept in the reservoir and uh, you take insulin from the insulin vial into the reservoir and then the reservoir is inside the and this pump is operated with the help of a battery and the pump program is set manually and in some of the recently available pumps even automatic adjustments are possible. The insulin travels through the infusion set and enters the body under the skin with the help of this tiny cannula which can be either of teflon or of steel. Uh, with the help of this the number of insulin pricks can be reduced. This cannula has to be changed once every 72 hours.